You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to my second ever response video. And this is going to be the first response video where I actually use clips from the video I'm responding to to have kind of a back and forth. Now, I won't be showing the video in its entirety, I'll just be showing the relevant clips. Uh, but I will be linking the original video in the description below. Now, that being said, this video I'm going to be talking about today is an older video. It's been out for a few years, and it's one that IGN did on the Stick of Truth. Now, as a big South Park fan myself, I've seen the show multiple times, and uh, I can name almost any reference that you give me. I can tell you what season and episode it's from. So, when IGN made this, I decided to check it out and noticed that they made a shitload of mistakes. The video in question is 38 show references in South Park The Stick of Truth. So it's 38 references to the show, South Park, supposedly. Uh, really, it's actually only like 37 to South Park, and then they throw a Star Trek reference in there at one point, but I'll get to that in a minute. As everyone always says with these uh, response videos, I am not trying to attack anyone, and uh, I do not advocate anyone actually doing that. Uh, I've just watched this video multiple times because I get a laugh out of how horribly made it is and how they don't get most of their facts right. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and we'll jump into it. We are big fans of South Park. And Except no, no you're not, as this video will clearly show. Because if you were, you'd, you wouldn't get as many of these wrong and you wouldn't get them as wrong as you do. You'll see what I mean. Here are 38 references the game makes to the series. Why 38? That's a really arbitrary number. You could do a lot more than that. You could do a lot less than that. You could do a nice round number. You could do over a hundred. You could do several hundred, I'm willing to bet. In Cartman's backyard, you can find his cat who appeared in the first episode of the television show. So right off the bat, the first one they say is just wrong. Okay? Cartman's cat has appeared in a lot of episodes of the show. He first appeared in the first episode, I'll give you that, but this guy heavily implies that was the only episode he was in. That's not true. Mr. Kitty has been in quite a few episodes. You can see pictures on the wall from the Casa Bonita episode. And Except that's not from Casa Bonita. That's from Obama Wins. Casa Bonita never has a scene where Cartman sits at a table. The closest thing you get is when he runs up and steals some people's food from their table. There, there is also a crack pipe. Okay, well, technically there is a crack pipe sitting there. You overemphasize the bong, and you're making a lot of people in the comments think that you're stupid calling a bong a crack pipe. There is a crack pipe there, but you're not emphasizing it. You're focusing on the bong, and it makes you seem not intelligent. Various televisions, you can hear Martha Stewart giving you creative household tips. It's a fun and inspiring time to decorate. Just like most women out there, I've really gotten into queefing lately. This is from the episode Red Hot Catholic Love. No, no it's not. It is not from Red Hot Catholic Love, it's from Eat, Pray, Queef. Two completely different episodes from completely different seasons. Neither of which sound even remotely similar, and neither of which even have similar plots. I don't know how you get this one that wrong. From the show, Cheesy Poofs and Weight Gain 4000 were a major focus of early episodes. Kind of a nitpick on this one, but Weight Gain 4000 was not prominent in more than the one episode it was in. Like, it was maybe in the background of other episodes, and it's been referenced in some other games. But it was really only prominent in the episode of the same name. On Kevin's desk, you can see a treble, which is a nod to Star Trek. That may be so, but you said this was about 38 references to the South Park television series earlier in this video. Why in the hell are you showing a Star Trek reference? Were you trying to pad this out? Because you already had 38, you could have just done 37. Both of them are just as arbitrary. Or you could have pulled another reference out because there's a ton more that you didn't put in this video. So why did you choose this of all things? Hell, even in this room, you could say, oh, Kevin is dressed as Spock, which isn't fitting for this, which is a reference to the fact that Kevin always messes up when they're role-playing, like when he was a stormtrooper when they played Lord of the Rings, or something like that. If you enter the post office, you can hear various songs from Chef playing on the radio. Okay, again, a nitpick on this one. You can hear those songs in many different places, not just the post office. This and a couple other things actually lead me to believe they actually didn't play very much of the game, but I'll get into that a little bit more later. Uh, but yeah, you can hear those songs in a lot of places, not just the post office. When you enter Tom's rhinoplasty, there are various posters of David Hasselhoff hanging up in the office. In the season one episode of the same name, Mr. Hack gets a nose job that- Mr. Hack gets a nose job that- Mr. Hack gets a nose job that- Okay, now this is my favorite one. How the hell do you call Mr. Garrison Mr. Hat? They are completely different. Mr. Hat is the puppet he has, and I sincerely doubt the puppet would have ever gotten a nose job. And if he did, I didn't see it happen. And I certainly remember Mr. Garrison getting one in the Tom's Rhinoplasty episode, which is clearly what you're talking about, but you're not saying it right. You're saying Mr. Hat. 
Mr. Hat is just a puppet, who may or may not be alive. That bit's up for debate, depending on which episode logic you're going on. But the point is, it wasn't Mr. Hat who got the nose job. That's just retarded. If you go into the business office, you can hear the Montage song from the show. Once again, this song can be heard in multiple locations, not just the business office. Kyle's closet, you can see his Chewbacca costume from the Halloween episode, A Nightmare on FaceTime. Uh, no, the Chewbacca costume was from Pink Eye. In A Nightmare on FaceTime, Kyle was dressed as Thor. In the game, you can find the kid's shop teacher, Richard Alder, who... Again, kind of a nitpick, but it's Mr. Adler, not Mr. Alder. Uh, it's a pretty easy mistake to make, so I'll go a little bit lenient on you on that one, but... It's, it's Adler, not Alder. I think maybe you were too busy screwing around. Hey, quit screwing around! From his radio plays, Kyle's Mom's a Bitch from the movie, Finger Bang from the episode Something You Can Do With Your Finger, a Faith Plus One song from the episode Christian Rock Hard, and the Minority Song from the Casa Bonita episode. Okay, the Minority Song is from the episode P. It is not from Casa Bonita. I realize Casa Bonita is a Mexican name, but that does not mean that is where he plays the minorities song. If anything, the implication you're giving there is a little racist. <laughs> also, that version of Kyle's Mom is a Bitch is the one from Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. There was one in the movie, but they altered it slightly, so it's actually a little bit of a different song. I'll give you a little bit of slack on that one because the song was in both, but still technically wrong. But yeah, that's all the parts where they fucked up. Uh, the thing is, though... Uh, I get the implication that they only played maybe five minutes of this game, uh, because all of the references they mention are stuff you can see very early on in the game, and they leave out a lot of stuff from later. Uh, and a lot of the later stuff is more direct references, where a lot of the other stuff they said in this video are sure references, but they're not like super big ones like some of the later stuff. And they could have removed that Star Trek one easily if they would have just put in another one if they still wanted to have 38 for some weird arbitrary reason. Uh, for instance, you go inside Mr. Slave's ass later in the game, which is a reference to the Death Camp of Tolerance. And it features all the characters that were in there in that episode, such as the Frog King, the Sparrow Prince, and Katatafish. Other than that, there's all the stuff with the aliens. Uh, they, you get anal probed, which is obviously a reference to Cartman gets an anal probe. As well as cancelled, if you really think about it, because he gets one in cancelled too. But that's basically just a rehash of it with some differences, but regardless. There's just a lot more that they easily could have done. Die here, Jack!